Welcome, my beautiful people, to another episode of Dino Basics, where we dig up the basics on some of our favorite deceased beasts. My name is Logan, and today we'll be looking at our first comment suggested dinosaur. Thank you to the Cheese Gamer 2427 for today's topic, Majungasaurus. Majungasaurus was first discovered by French paleontologist Charles Depardieu in 1896 in the northwestern region of modern-day Madagascar. This original fossil consisted of two teeth, a claw, and a few vertebrae, all located near the Betsy Boca River. Depardieu assigned these fossils to the Megalosaurus genus, which at the time was something called a wastebasket taxon. A wastebasket taxon, or a catch-all taxon, is a term used by taxonomists to refer to a taxon that is meant to, as the name suggests, catch species that do not fit elsewhere. Generally, these taxa are not considered valid under modern rules of taxonomy, but mostly done for organizational purposes. Invertebrates, while not a wastebasket taxa, reflect this idea as being defined as everything else without a backbone. At the time, Megalosaurus was used to organize large theropods. Majungasaurus was originally given the name Megalosaurus crenatissimus. Crenatissimus stems from the Latin word crenatus for notched and isimus for most, in reference to the large amount of serrations on the original fossil's teeth. Over the next 100 years, Majungasaurus fossils would be found across the Mahajanga province in northeastern Madagascar. In 1955, French paleontologist René Lavocat described a large theropod jaw with teeth similar to the original fossils described by Charles Depardieu. However, the jawbone was more curved than the now better defined Megalosaurus genus, so instead, a new genus was established called Majungasaurus. The name is derived from an old spelling of Mahajanga, the province where many of the genus's fossils were discovered, and can be read as Mahajanga lizard. While Majungasaurus was now a proper genus, further confusion would arise in 1979 when a new Pachycephalosaur the thick-headed dinosaurs, including a previous video topic, Draco Rex, was discovered, named Majungatholus atopus. The species would exist for about 20 years until 1996, when a more complete skull of Majungatholus was discovered, with teeth matching that of Majungasaurus. This revealed that Majungatholus was a Majungasaurus specimen rather than a unique species or genus. Today, Majungasaurus crenatissimus is the only recognized species, with Majungatholus instead being a synonym for the same species. Majungasaurus belonged to a family of dinosaurs known as the Abelosauridae, a classification of carnivorous theropod dinosaurs that lived in South America, Africa, and Southern Asia during the Cretaceous period. Abelosauridae members have a few common characteristics, like stocky hind limbs, vestigial or non-functional arms, short skulls, and some kind of bone crests above their eyes. Majungasaurus met many of these qualifications. It could grow between 18 and 23 feet in length and about 6 feet tall. It weighed nearly 2,400 pounds, similar to that of a modern-day water buffalo. Its head is most likely the most recognizable feature about it. The skull was only about 2 feet in length, very short in comparison to the rest of its body. It also had a cone-like horn protruding from the top of its skull, which was most likely hollow and only used for display. While the rough texture of its skull is common among its other family members, Majungasaurus's skull was noticeably whiter than others, leading to scientists mistaking it as a pachycephalosaur and the confusion with Majungatholus. Majungasaurus was bipedal and had a body structure similar to other Abelosauridae members like the Carnotaurus. It had a long tail to counterbalance its body, 
and fairly short and stocky legs to support itself. Its arms only had four fingers and were all fused together, indicating that the arms were most likely immovable. Majungasaurus lived throughout modern-day Madagascar near the end of the Cretaceous period, between 70 and 65 million years ago. In fact, it is believed to be one of the last dinosaurs to have lived. At this time, Madagascar was still an island, and Majungasaurus would have been the apex predator in its environment. Fossil records indicate that the only competition Majungasaurus would have to contend with would be crocodilians near the water. Beyond these variety of crocodilians, Majungasaurus lived alongside a variety of mammals, fish, reptiles, various small theropod dinosaurs, and sauropods like the massive Rapetosaurus. Based on its skeleton and environment, scientists believe Majungasaurus preferred larger prey like the previously mentioned Rapetosaurus it was known to live alongside. The short skulls and serrated teeth of Majungasaurus seem to point towards the animal preferring to grab and hold onto prey, trying to restrain and exhaust them rather than twist and tear at their flesh. However, another debated part of their diet is cannibalism. A 2007 study indicated that various Majungasaurus skeletons had teeth marks matching those of other Majungasauruses, making Majungasaurus one of the few theropods to be known cannibals. With Coelophysis, discussed in our previous video, being disproven, and Tyrannosaurus rex having some sparse evidence pointing towards cannibalism. However, there is more detail needed. It is fairly unlikely that Majungasaurus actively hunted other Majungasauruses. A more likely situation is this occurring due to competition over carcasses and other prey. Modern Komodo lizards are known to kill and eat rivals for the same carcass, and it is very likely that Majungasaurus would have done the same in its time. Due to the abundance of fossils discovered over the years, Majungasaurus is one of the best studied theropods from the southern hemisphere. For this reason, as well as its fairly unique appearance, Majungasaurus has appeared in a variety of media. It has appeared in a number of documentary series, including 2008's Jurassic Fight Club, 2010's Prehistoric Assassins, 2011's Dinosaur Revolution, 2011's Planet Dinosaur, and most recently, in 2023's Prehistoric Planet 2. Beyond these, Majungasaurus has also made smaller appearances, like the Jurassic Park franchise in Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2, as well as Jurassic World The Game. It took Majungasaurus some time to receive the proper, or any, recognition. Yet today, it is one of the most well-researched and well-represented dinosaurs in the Southern Hemisphere, bringing focus to a region that is often overlooked when compared to the heavy hitters in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, insert Majungasaurus pun. I, I don't know. What do, you, what do you expect out of me? That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment below what you think of Majungasaurus, and if you have heard of this dinosaur before the video. Next week, we have a two-for-one with Monday's Stracosaurus, and that same week we will be returning to Hatchosaurs with the Parasaurolophus. Thank you for your support, and see you in the next video.